Now you've either returned or you stomped up on this channel for the very first time. Either way, welcome to Campervan Habitude. You'll see that I'm boring the dog already and he wants to leave the room, so maybe that's a sign of things to come. If you have returned, you may recall that I left you on a little bit of a cliffhanger last time, and that cliffhanger uh, was due to the fact that I'd had a minor mishap with quite a big tool, quite possibly leaving me a bigger tool in the equation. I had gone through my hand with an angle grinder. I will add, it wasn't whilst working on the van, so please rest assured it's not that dangerous doing these projects. But the one thing that we could guarantee is it left us in a little bit of a sticky situation. Top tip, kids, don't remove the, the safety guard. Uh, it will um, work quite efficiently in uh, detaching your tendons and then you'll be off work for a number of weeks. Always good, but not when you can't use your hand. You've got a million things to do including converting a van. But don't worry, Ruth is on hand. Okay, so sticky situation or not, we had actually made plans before this had happened. We'd ordered a number of things. We certainly knew what we were going to be doing. It just meant that our time frame would be stretched a little bit, that's all. But um, we had some items ordered and we'd planned to have some things fitted in van style, or I should say at van style in Nottingham. So Ruth could drive, there were no issues, what could possibly go wrong? It's a bit floody. Oh, <laughs> oh my days. Thank goodness one has a 4x4 four four for me. Yeah, it's not mud to be tight, it's water. So I nearly took my thumb off in January, but we forged ahead with three hands between us. We battled floods in February and Ruth managed to drive to Vanstar and we got our bits fitted. We were now in March. They say that things come in threes. Who on earth was going to predict this next one? Look at this, 25th of March, 2020. Place usually rammed with cars and people walking into town, into work. Nothing, apart from me. And that buffoon. All right, Raph, what do you think? So this is where we found ourselves, empty streets everywhere, in the center of a pandemic. I mean, who on earth was gonna guess that one? They say it's unprecedented, certainly was within my lifetime and that of my parents. And there's nothing like a pandemic to help focus the mind. My heart, goes out to anybody who's affected by this and my thanks also go out to all those people who continue to work throughout who kept the world spinning and try to keep things as normal as they possibly could for us um, converting this van it become less important but we realized that we still had to do it our holidays were going to be cancelled but isn't that the same for most? It wasn't the worst thing that was happening at this really difficult time for people. But it meant that I'd spend vast amounts of time sat in the back of the van, pretty much staring at it, to be honest. Hi guys, welcome back. It's actually been a number of months since my last offering, and I've got to tell you, it may have been windy last time, but it's a little bit bloody nippy today. Uh, anybody who did see that last video, you'll notice that a little bit of work has been done, but certainly not as much as I expected. Okay. 
So, Mel's disappeared off outside. Let's just go and see what he's getting up to in his van. Hello. Oh, hi, you all right? Yeah, what are you doing? Well, as you can see, got a lot of the sound deadening done, so it's looking all right so far. Done both uh, wheel arches, and I've done the tops as well. I was just giving me panels off, but uh, I'll get, get these old fixings out, which are a bit of a pain in the backside, but still, I'll get those off and then I can start doing inside there as well. Okay, looks good. It's looking all right though, isn't it? Hmm. I'll tell you what, this the sound deadening, you know, if ever you thought didn't need doing, you look at this. Back up, back up. Right. Right, do you know what you need to do today, Sparky? Clear out all the rubbish. Clear out all the rubbish. Rip the floor up. Rip the, well, we don't technically use the term rip the floor up. Um, we carefully take it up. And sound deadening the floor. Uh, yeah, insulation and sound deadening onto the floor. I'll have a quick film inside there just to show what we've done so far. Doing a sterling job though, well done. There we go, so we've got sand deadening on the roof, sand deadening all the walls, um, wheel arches, etc. I must say, um, it's taken a few days actually to do this small amount of work. Right, there's still some That is a horrible job. It's sticky. It sticks to the floor like nobody's business. I suppose that sits hand in hand with it being sticky. It, the lumps throw it off kilter so the lines aren't straight. But the important thing is it's all covered. And the floor on top of that will hopefully sit even and it'll be properly insulated. So. That's a job for tomorrow. I'm a little bit fed up now. I'll catch you later. Uh, the other thing that we needed to do was we needed, if we look in the driver's seat, we need to remove this panel here and this here. And they were similar to this that run along the bottom. Mm, you'll see that I've already been working and I've cut the one out at the bottom. Um, I used the angle grinder for that. Um, my nemesis, I should say. Yes, the angle grinder that um, I managed to use without putting through my hand this time. Although I've got to say, I'm a little bit more cautious of them than I used to be. With that in mind, um, I should say that these bits come out with bolts nice and clean however the bottom bits are welded in again so we need to remove that the side panels here quite easy to pull out uh, i pull out at the top get my prizing tool which is this magnificent beast 
and I'm able to uh, prise out the fixings, almost like secret fixings in there. So they come out relatively easy, pop out. In fact, let me show you on here, so you're trying to explain. Right, if we look here, here rather, um, and they fix into the top here, and then the bottom, we've got them around here, around here, around here, around here, and they just fit into these little bits here. But I do have to remove this bit, which is welded on. Um, it's not just because I'm cautious of the grinder now, but I think it'd make a tidy job if we got them out some other way. And that's what I've done. I've decided to drill them out. I've used three drill bits, just uh, a small pilot hole, first of all, uh, leading up to that beast. Drilled it, got my flat pinch bar behind it, priced it away, and it came away quite nicely. Always being cautious not to go through too far because we don't know what we're drilling into, so be very careful when you're drilling through there. But I think, think that just makes a little bit of a tidy job at the end of the day. That means that when I get my carpet in, or rather when I fit my carpet in, which has already come, I can then carpet nicely around this edge here and then put these bits back on and uh, it'll look rather super. Yeah, okay, I admit, I took a little bit of a dip in March, um, but I started to, to progress through that, we worked through it. The insulation went on the van, and the carpeting went on, and to be fair, when the carpeting went on the van, that started to motivate me a little bit more anyway. To coincide with that, I had all the electrics sent down from Rain Automotive. Um, it looks a little bit daunting, I'll give you that, but don't worry, if I can do it, you can do it. With all the components labelled there, it's almost idiot proof. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Almost more importantly, you'll see some large boxes arrived on my driveway there, and they have my name on the side. Uh, those boxes contain all the units and the fridge, all, and all the exciting bits that I was going to put in my van. So in the next episode, hopefully, you will see me fitting those bits, and that really is an exciting time this thing is moving forward rapidly. To ensure you see those, please subscribe on the button at the bottom and maybe consider hitting the little bell as well because that will remind you when these videos come up. In return, I shall try not to use the idiot cam too much and we'll see if we can get through this. Thanks for tuning in guys, thanks for sticking with it so far and hopefully I'll speak to you next time. Take care.